Hello, and welcome to Miss of Time Emporium. I'm Joni, and today I'll be doing a walk through The Wizard's Tarot by Paper De Lune. Now, this just arrived from England. So excited about that. It's perfect. And it arrived with our acceptance letter to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It also comes with a bag for the tarot deck. Now this is the second edition, and the second edition has a different back. The first edition had the Marauder's Map, but this edition is also printed on a different stock, and the stock is a great stock, very flexible, durable, you can tell, and just smooth as glass, so it's wonderful. Now, we start the deck with the Weasley Brothers as the Fool. How perfect is that? In my opinion, this deck, it's not the only Harry Potter deck, but it is the best thought out Harry Do Potter deck. It follows the RWS to, um, tradition very, very well. For fans, of course, there's a much deeper level because you really understand the symbolism in these cards. As a matter of fact, a couple of the cards brought a little tear to our eye. The detail is very, very, again, well thought out, many layered. Again, it follows the RWS system, so very, very easy to read, even if you don't have a real deep understanding of the series. Hagrid's my favorite. How perfect is that death card? I mean, so many of the cards you can say that about. We just, as we went through, this is a deck that both Ashley and I purchased. And as we went through the deck, we just were amazed. Hermione as the star. Perfection. So it does not come with a guide or a booklet, but again, pretty straightforward based on the RWS. But for fans, I mean, <laughs> how perfect is that world card? Again, so many of the cards just absolutely spot on. That's one of the cards that really gets you in the heart, which is what the Three of Swords is supposed to do. I guess not supposed to do, but what it represents. I love that this deck is a grayscale deck. It's, um, again, I think just the fact that it's grayscale really increases the depth of the meaning of these cards. Look at them. How perfect is that? I'm going to say that a lot <laughs> through this walkthrough. We'll put a link in the description box below to where you can get one of these decks. And it arrived from England pretty quickly. We were very, very excited um, to get these decks, as you can imagine. They're, it's perfect for this time of year, and this is when we get our books out and reread the series as well. So this is especially fun for us. That one's a little bit hard to tell because it's an underwater scene, but look at that. It 
again, I mean, that was one of the cards that really got us in the feels. Great, right? This deck has done a really good job with these images of bringing you back into that world and the highs and the lows that you go through. The moments where you laugh out loud and the moments where you cry. The person that made this deck, this is a person that knows Harry Potter, the Harry Potter world. I myself am a Hufflepuff. That's the one that really got me. but it lifts us right back up. Again, in my personal opinion, this is the best Harry Potter deck that I've seen. start at the beginning. <laughs> One of my personal favorites as well. I closely identify. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today to walk through the Wizard's Tarot. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy it every time I look at this deck. Thank you for joining us. Please leave any comments or questions below. Like and subscribe if you're so inclined. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you.